Bernie, by the way, is going to be speaking at 2 o'clock Eastern time this afternoon uh, in New York City at the town hall on his plans to reform Wall Street. He says he's going to break up the big banks within the first year of his being president. Uh, by contrast, Hillary Clinton says she's not going to break up the big banks at all. She just wants to regulate them in ways that might make it... Uh, you, still, you have that clip, Shane, of Bill? Yeah, this, uh, this is essentially what Bill Clinton said. Well, not essentially, this is his exact words yesterday. Um, but the, the essential message was, yeah, we're going to regulate the banks. We just want to make sure that we do it in a way so that they're still profitable enough that they'll want to loan money to average working people. Well, the fact of the matter is that most of the banks, the big banks, took most of the money that they got from, from uh, the Fed, this low, low interest money, and simply sat on it. They invested it in treasuries that paid a higher return than they had to pay the Fed, and they made billions of dollars, maybe trillions of dollars in profit simply sitting on money rather than loaning it out. They're very profitable, thank you very much. They're doing just fine, but um, uh, none of the Republicans want to regulate Wall Street at all. In fact, they want to roll back the existing regulations. Hillary Clinton wants to regulate them a little more tightly, which I commend, but Bernie Sanders wants to break them up and introduce real competition into banking and make real banking and real investment banking, gambling banking, two separate things once again, as they were prior to 1999. And I'm totally with him on this. But here's what Bill Clinton had to say yesterday. I like the Dodd-Frank bill. And Hillary's proposed some things to strengthen it so that very large financial institutions that are tempted to generate more money for those at the top by trading with each other instead of investing in America's future, can't take undue risks. But we also have to make sure that if a bank wants to make a loan to a small business, that the cost of that transaction is not so high they won't loan $100,000 for somebody to start a new business. Right. We can't, we can't let the cost of the transaction be so high. In other words, you know, poor Wall Street guys got to fill out, fill out paperwork and and uh, be accountable to the we the people and to the government. And, geez, it's it's tough being a banker, you know. And did you know next year, four out of the uh, 12, I believe it is, members of the Federal Reserve uh, Board of Governors will be bankers from Goldman Sachs? Four of them next year. And uh, the guy who is uh, in, the, in the Clinton campaign, who yesterday came out and said, uh, Bernie... Uh, why don't you endorse our plan to reform Wall Street? Uh, Gary Gensler used to be a Goldman Sachs guy. Now he's with the Clinton campaign. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.